Hello, Internet. The voice of Mike Bertolini here, and I'm here to read you a story. This story is both captivating in its horror and its excitement. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about this story. So without any further ado, let's just get into the story. I was in my late teens to early 20s when this happened. My boyfriend at the time had been flagged down by a neighbor at the top of our street because he would drive fast on the road sometimes. The man freaked out at him one day and from then on that neighbor didn't like us. I agree with the lead foot, but he was rather rude about the whole interaction. From then on we kept to ourselves and ignored this guy because of his aggressive and weird vibe. One night, two of our friends came over and they asked if we wanted to walk over to the airfield slash golf course area near our house, and we agreed. I was feeling ill all day with a horrible stomach ache, and after about an hour of hanging around, I asked if we could all as a group please go back to the house. They were hesitant because the night was young to them, but agreed. We get to the top of my street and I feel my stomach churning. I tell our friends to meet us at the house while my boyfriend helped me. They walk ahead. At this point, we're in front of that neighbor's house across the street. I start violently puking in the bushes trying to catch my breath. My boyfriend is aiding me and patting my back while being in circles. I notice he's stopped. He freezes and very quietly says to me, Let's go. Come on. Right now. I instantly shudder because of his tone drop. I'm still throwing up at this point, so it's a bit difficult for me to think about walking. I think I said something like, I can't. Just wait. Just wait for me. Quiet says through his teeth in a single phrase. Now. At this point, I'm terrified. I start walking with him, and he says, Walk normally. Stay at my pace. I'll tell you when we get to the house. A neighbor was creeping around near us when I was sick on the road. It was after midnight at this point. He says he saw him outside in the dark in his driveway and didn't think we noticed him. My boyfriend said he saw this man crouch and walk around his cars in the driveway watching us. That's it. Just watching. Crouching and hiding is what freaked me out. The man was already off and just weird. The whole thing weirds me out to this day. <laughs> 